Hello, I'm Cardinal Wise, and today I'm giving you a teaching from the Return of Christ book. And today's teaching is Elysium, the Divine Throne. The Bible has given you clues about the Divine Throne, but it's time you've learned the full story. Ezekiel tries to describe it somewhat covenantly, explaining wheels within wheels. But Daniel gives a much clearer description of the sun gleaming off the wheels, making it appear to be on fire. Daniel 7, 9 I beheld till the thrones were placed, and one that was ancient of days did sit. His remnant was as white snow, and his hair on his head like pure wool. His throne was fiery flames, and the wheels thereof burning fire. John goes further to describe its location for us. Revelation 4.2 And immediately I was in the Spirit, and beheld there was a throne set in heaven, and upon the throne one sitting. King David tells us, Psalms 103.19 The Lord hath prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom shall rule over all. But the Lord himself clarifies it all. Isaiah 66, 1 Thus saith the Lord, Heaven is my throne, and the earth my footstool. What is this house that you have will build to me, and what is this place of my rest? Elysium was the father's throne away from Nibiru, but he has given it to his son, so now you all understand what John 14.2 means. 14.2 from John says, In my house there are many mansions. If not, I would have told you, because I go to prepare a place for you. The ancient people were very well aware of where the Lord and the lesser gods dwelt, and those who were allowed to see it, wrote many stories of the paradise of Elysium. It is also known as the White Island in the Black Sea. Also, because all of its inhabitants were virtuous, and it floated in the Black Sea of Space. I will stop there for a moment and say, if you wish to get your own copy of the Return of Christ book, please pop along to Amazon, where you'll be able to purchase it on Kindle, or if you prefer, a paperback version in black and white or in colour. I will now continue the teaching. So, let's put the clues together. The Lord's throne is in heaven. It incorporates wheels, and its position makes earth into a footstool. Now, is Elysium real? As we've said many times, Hollywood gives you glimpses of the hidden truth to prepare you for what is coming. And, in 2013 movie, Elysium is the one of the best examples. Elysium showed this utopian paradise above, a place where bodies were perfected and life is beautiful. It also showed the dystopian earth below, after it had become the outer darkness. Matthew 25.30 and the unprofitable servant cast ye out into the exterior darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. 
You may have noticed in the movie that almost all of Elysium's inhabitants were white. The White Island. With some Asian people and a few exceptional people from other races. While Earth was almost entirely Hispanic. With a few black and white criminals. This is the result of the New Kingdom Epistle 1 Determination of Nations. This is the very important lesson in the movie for the Realites. While most people saw Matt Damon and the Radius of Elysium as the heroes of the movie, taking Elysium away from those greedy elitists who lived there, you must keep in something in mind. You are those elitists. So you need to see the repeating historical truth in the movie that's playing out today. History has shown us that every great society is brought low when lesser societies are envious and willing to do whatever is necessary to take the greater society for themselves. You see it today with hordes illegally crossing into the United States, destroying countries' Eurocentric culture, greatly burdening the criminal justice system and social welfare system. The same is being seen throughout Europe where African and Middle Eastern refugees are invading, robbing, vandalizing, and demanding welfare benefits while raping the European women and children. History teaches us over and over again that one group does everything while another group does nothing and resents the hard-working group for their good lifestyle. They will do whatever is necessary to take it from them, but they don't have the skills to maintain it. So they just use it and up and destroy it, waiting for the hard-working group to build something else great for them to take. America has beautiful, clean cities inhabited by the hard-working and educated upper class, but the non-working lower class always invaded the cities, destroying them and forcing the hard-working upper class to flee into the suburbs, where the whole cycle repeats itself. It will never happen to Elysium because only those who are found worthy will be able to get there. Elysium is the kingdom of heaven, but there shall be an earthly kingdom as well, as New Jerusalem will land and become the capital city of earth. Though the Lord's throne is in Elysium, he will live among his subjects on earth, in New Jerusalem. Revelation 21, verse 2-3 And I, John, saw the holy city, the New Jerusalem, coming down out of the heaven, prepared as God, as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of the heaven, saying, Behold the tabernacle of God with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And I will end it there and say, love God, love each other, amen, bye for now.